Hey guys, I got sponsored by Graphics Talk to produce this video for you, so I hope you enjoy it. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a still image and overlay it onto a video. This is great when you want to add a logo to the beginning of your video, or you just want to use some other graphics with your video to kind of spice it up. The most important part is preparing your image, so I'm going to show you how to do that step by step, and then I'll also show you how to overlay it onto your video. So let's get started and check it out. The first thing you want to do for this tutorial is just to select the image that you're going to use. If you have a logo that's separated from the background, that's going to be the easiest to start with. If you want to use some other artwork or something that you need to separate out, I'm going to show you how to do that. So think about your video and think about what you'd like to overlay onto it and select that image and we'll get started. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use some of their stock vectors to overlay onto the video just to show you an example. Of course, you can use your own logos or your own artwork, and I'm going to show you how to prepare those files. If you want to go on graphic stock, you can get a free 7-day trial, and you can download a bunch of images, and you actually get all the royalty-free rights and everything for them. They have more than 350,000 royalty-free images, and it's an unlimited library, so you can download whatever files you want and not have to worry about the copyright issues with them. I find it's useful for like icons and vector graphics specifically, because I'm not too good at creating those. The first thing we're going to do is create an image file that has a transparent background so you can overlay it over your video. So I downloaded this map file and they actually had an EPS file available too. Sometimes an EPS file will have a transparent background. This one here you can see it's white so it's not actually transparent. And I'm going to use the JPEG just so I can show you how to isolate your image against the transparent background because most of your images probably won't already have this. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this image in Photoshop. I'm going to use Photoshop for this tutorial. If you have GIMP, you can use that. That's a free photo editing software. Or your other photo editing softwares, as long as you can make PNG files, then you can use those to do the same technique. With some of the more simple images, like logos and stuff, if you don't have them already in a PNG or an EPS file against a transparent background, it's pretty easy to isolate them. Usually you can use the magic wand tool, and that'll be able to select all the pixels outside of your graphic. This one's a bit more complicated because there's so much white mixed in with the graphic here. So I'm going to show you if I select it out here, it's going to select all this background, but it's not going to select this white that's inside of the graphic. I could go through and try to add all these white spots, but there's too many for me to add right now. So I'm going to do select, deselect, and I'm going to select it a different way. But you might want to try that with your graphics to remove the background. I'm going to go to select, color range. I'm going to use sampled colors, and I'm going to click on the black area. And everything that's white here is what's selected. And I have the fuzziness up high so that I can grab also the gray areas that are in this picture. So there's some little small gray areas, it's kind of hard to tell. So that's going to select all of the world map. I'm going to say OK. And now all of the world map is selected. And I'm just going to copy that, edit, copy. And I'm going to paste it onto a new layer. So if I just paste, it'll go automatically onto a new layer. And you can see there's two layers here now. There's layer one, it's got the world map, and then there's a background with everything. So I'm going to turn off the background, and now you can see the world map is against a transparent layer. Now I'm just going to make sure that the image is high enough quality, so I'm going to look at image, image size. I'm going to put this onto a 1080p video, so I just want to make sure that it's high enough quality, it isn't going to show up blurry or fuzzy. And if you look here, it's the dimensions of this file are 3000 pixels by 1784 pixels. And a 1080p video is 1920 by 1080. So this is bigger than the 1080p video, and it's at 300 pixels per inch. So this is bigger than we even need. But we'll just go ahead and use it at high quality. If your images are coming out blurry, they could be too low of resolution for the size you're making them on the overlay. So you just always want to be aware of the size of it. And then I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to scale this down and add a little text that I wanted to add to the overlay. So edit, transform, scale. I'm going to click the little chain icon here so it keeps the same proportions. And I'm just going to scale that down. So now I just want to drag the other text in that I already wrote. You could just use the text tool and type text. But I already spaced out the other one so I'm going to open that up. Open that with Photoshop. So I'm just going to go to the Move tool and drag this text over onto the graphic that I just created. 
and I'm, it's a little smaller than I want it, so I'm going to scale it up a bit. Just go edit, transform, scale. Make sure that chain's clicked there. And just scale it up a bit. And then push enter. Make sure it's centered. Now I can save this file as a PNG. So you see how the background is transparent? I'm just going to go File, Save As, go to PNG File. Now let's call it World Overlay and save that file. If you want to save the original file, you could save it as a PSD so you have those layers and you can go back and work on it if you, want, if you need to change anything. Otherwise, you can just close it. Now we're going to overlay our image onto our video. If you use GoPro Studio for your video editing, you actually can't overlay an image onto videos using GoPro Studio. You can do text, but um, not images. So I'm going to use iMovie for this just because it's free and anyone with a Mac has iMovie. And if you're using Premiere or Final Cut Pro, of course you can use those more advanced editing programs to add overlay images. So I'm just going to open up iMovie and I'm going to import the video file that I want to use and the PNG file. So if I go to desktop, I'm going to go to the image overlay PNG file. That's the one that's going to have a transparent background. And I'm going to select my video file and import those. Then I'm going to select this clip and drag it into the sequence here. And then I'm going to select the PNG file. And you can't see it because it's black lines against the black background is the way they show it here. But it's going to show up on your video. So I'm going to drag it in here above the video file and you'll see that it's overlaid onto the video. There's a couple of things you're going to want to do which is select this overlay and go to cropping and it automatically will probably be on Ken Burns so just go to fit and that'll make it so it's not moving it'll keep it stationary as an overlay and then go over to here to video overlay settings and select picture and picture. And now it's going to overlay that picture over your video you can drag it around, you can resize it. I'm going to make it quite large and we know that it's high enough quality because we set up that file in Photoshop. And then if I click off of it and drag the bar here, let's see where it shows up. I actually want it to show up right after the bubbles disappear. So right there, I'm just going to drag this over and then extend it till the end of the clip. You can adjust the transition here, how it dissolves in and out by dragging these. That'll just fine tune the duration of the transition. Now you can play your video clip and see how it shows up on your video. I like the way it dissolves in, it looks good to me. So that's how you overlay a image onto your videos. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Be sure to check out my book on Amazon or iBooks to get the latest tips and tricks on your GoPro camera. And take care until next time.